I'm starting to play some band, so I'm looking forward to compete hopefully very soon. Mm -hmm. Also, it has to, to heal well and to don't go through a lot of pain and it's, it's, it's good. I don't know. I, I thought it would be harder. Yeah. And so far, so I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not 100% recovered, so it's mm -hmm. a little bit earlier to say. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's experience for me that it was just one surgery, first surgery that I've done. Mm -hmm. So yes, and it's. I, I mean, I was really scared before the surgery. I was really like, what's going to happen? Because you always hear people doing surgeries, and you're like, yeah, sports athlete surgery is fine. Mm. And when it actually happens to you, it's so so like weird. Mm. And when I was like on the bed before the surgery, I was like, uh. yeah, and plus it was, I realized it's very d difficult to find your doctor because I've seen few different doctors. I injured my wrist on US Open and the doctors there told me that uh, two weeks of uh, rest, I'll be fine. Then I rest two weeks, I come to China and it's nothing like fine. It's the same pain. So then I sent to different, my MRI to different doctors, like five different opinions. That's not easy to take the decision. Plus, I went to Moscow, I see another doctors, then I went to Belgium, then I had offers to go like to the States, to Germany, to different kinds uh, of clinics. And it's hard because everybody gives you different opinion. So I've chosen mine and I, I don't regret it. So hopefully it will work out. That's good. Where did you have the surgery? In, the in Belgium. In Belgium. And the doctor, yeah. Uh, Frederick, uh, the doctor where Kim Kleisters had surgery. Yeah. Uh, Belinda Bencic. Uh, I think Nishikori was working there. I'm not sure if Djokovic was there or not. Mm. I'm not sure. In Switzerland. Ah, okay. Mm. So, yeah, a couple players went there. I spoke to Belinda Benjic before doing surgery, I spoke to Kim and I actually had also dinner with Kim and I went to see her daughter play basketball and to uh, to a basketball match of, of team her husband is coaching so I went to her home I, like we were sitting in the kitchen and she said it's crazy I cannot believe you like sitting at my kitchen in Belgium and yeah it, it was fun uh, uh, she was feeding her pigs, she had pigs, chicken and stuff like that, so Kim was feeding them. And then we went to basketball match, and then somebody calls her and tells she forgot to close the gate for the pig, and the pig is on the street. So, I mean, it was really funny, I enjoyed some time with her, and it's great. You see, I'm blessed that I didn't have so many injuries during the whole my career, and I guess some, every time injuries happen to me, it's a time I believe I need the time off from the traveling and uh, practicing and playing. Mm -hmm. So I spent good time. Uh, some great things happened to me off of the court. And yeah, I mean, uh, you realize that the life is not, I always say you realize that life is not like tennis, only mm -hmm. tennis, but um, it's also some, some new things. You try yourself in different projects. I mm -hmm. want to do different stuff, so it's, it's cool. What kind of stuff did you do? Uh, I was presenter on TV, like uh -huh. I was doing music news. Really? Yeah, like a couple times, not like uh, like it's mm. uh, Mustave, it's a Russian music channel. Mm. So I was reading news there and then I was in a couple of different TV shows, like I do rapping and stuff like that. I was about to do another one, but it didn't work out. So stuff like this with TV, with radio, with uh, like different stuff. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I don't see why not. Yeah, I, I, I like the TV. I like to talk to people, to communicate, to uh, to have interesting chats, talk to interesting people from uh, like successful people from different industries. Well, it's different, you know. First, when you like. Uh, when you start, you've been off and say, yeah, I have, I'm so full, I want to practice, and you practice, practice, and then you're like dead, and you understand that your body, the older you get, the more difficult to get in shape and get everything. So uh, you learn every time you go, because your body is always different, you know, and you learn to adjust to the practice and everything. So I'm just trying uh, to figure out how best to prepare my body and we'll see how it will work out. Well, I, I feel uh, because, I mean, it's uh, 
I don't feel the old pain, but I still feel my wrist because it's been in surgery and it's been worked on. So I do feel it, but it, it, the, the doctor says it should be like that. Slowly it will go away. No, I mean, it's, it's just life. It goes on and you face some obstacles and some things which you face and you have to adjust and to, uh, to see. I just realized that... Uh, one day when I stop, I have to find other things to do, you know, to, to have different goals if tennis doesn't work one day, and it, one day it will happen. And, um, yeah, I mean, I've <laughs> really, I have enjoyed watching Australia Open from the couch, not from the 40 degrees heat. So some years it's great not to go in so hot weather, but I've missed Australia because I love that country a lot.